Apple just had its big keynote at WWDC 2022, announced a bunch of features for iOS 16, macOS Ventura, and iPadOS 16. Gonna talk about some of the changes, especially Stage Manager, which is a new window management for the iPad, and they talked about desktop class apps. And so we're gonna see how that translates to those of us who use the iPad for podcasting. Let's check out Stage Manager first real quick. So you actually have to enable Stage Manager here in the Control Center. There's a new symbol, and when you tap that, that enables Stage Manager Window Management. So now when I open an app, you're gonna see there's a bunch of other apps here on the left side. I can tap an app there on the left side and switch it with whatever app is here in the foreground. Not only can I switch apps, but I can also drag other apps and overlay them here on this window. Also in Stage Manager, you can resize windows. You have to look for this little symbol in the bottom right corner. You can make smaller and larger. And you can also drag other apps either from the dock or in Spotlight, and you can add additional windows right here. Sometimes that little corner switches, which is a little weird. I expect it to just be in the same place every time. But then you can switch which app is kind of in the foreground, which app is in the background. But it's not really like free roaming windows. Like I can't drag this window a little bit up or a little bit down. It's just kind of however I place it. Same thing with the Photos app. I can kind of move it and make it larger, but it's not really super easy to move windows exactly where I want them. You can add multiple apps right here into like a stack. Here's Tim Cook in a Notes app. Again, I can resize the window. And if I want to switch back to another app, I can tap it there in the left side and all the apps will stay together. And so I can tap back here and you see it has those three apps that I had laid out. I can go back here and you can kind of create these app groupings. It gives you a little bit more flexibility than just split screen, especially now that you can use the iPad on an external monitor. It'll actually scale to the entire size of the monitor and you can drag apps between these spaces in Stage Manager. But it's a little weird to like get rid of an app. So, you know, I'm not really sure, like you can't swipe up to get rid of an app. It's kind of hard to figure out how to manage that. What you do is you tap the little three dots that is for the multitasking. Then there's a minus button here. So you can minus that out and that window will disappear. It actually is still over here in the stage manager and I can drag it back and now it's in the group of three again. But again, it's a little clunky how to work with some of those windows resizing and adding or taking them away. You can also do the plus button, which I'm not sure what that plus button is, okay. So maybe that'll do something later. And then when you're done with the stage manager interface, you can actually go to the control center and turn it off and then it'll just go back into regular split screen mode. So it's kind of interesting it, again, it gives you a different sense of window management. And also when you go to like the multitasking view, it's still kind of like a similar app grouping here that you used to have in multitasking. Now it's just, you know, you've resized some of the windows. But one of the other things that Apple talked about was desktop class apps. It talked about a lot of new features coming to files and other behind the scenes improvements that will make the iPad a desktop class device. That's what they said. Desktop class apps, not just me saying it. Desktop class apps. And so one of the things as a podcaster I wanted to know is, can two apps use a USB microphone at the same time? I know I've been beating this drum for a while, but it's the one thing that would make the iPad a real podcast creation machine, especially when traveling. I would love just to bring my iPad Pro with Magic Keyboard and not have to worry about bringing a Mac, but I need multiple apps to access a USB microphone at the same time. So I've got my trusty Earthworks Icon USB microphone here. Let's see what happens when we connect it to the iPad Pro. So there's the USB microphone. When I plug it into the iPad, I have Ferrite running in the background and then I have Skype in another window right there. So when I plug it in, you'll see it's hearing my voice and I can do that. And now it's actually recording the USB microphone in Ferrite. Now let's say I was doing a show with a co-host or guest and I wanted to call them on another app. Well, this is Skype just to try it out. I'm gonna do the Skype call testing service and let's watch what happens to the recording there in Ferrite. When I start the call, you'll see it automatically did recording interrupted. And again, it's because two apps cannot access a USB audio device at the same time. Now there are solutions to this if you still wanna record with your iPad. Riverside is probably the best app for doing that where you can record with guests or for yourself right there on your iPad using a USB microphone or even a USB interface. But I was hoping that desktop class apps meant the iPad could do things like the desktop, like Mac OS, like just regular audio interface stuff. So not yet, this could be an API thing. I'm not sure if there's something that Ferrite or other apps need to do to enable multi-use USB microphone stuff. I'm not really sure. But Stage Manager is interesting. I'd be curious how it's refined over the summer along with the developer betas and public betas. If you want access to iPadOS 16 or iOS 16, 
It's only the developer betas that are available now. You need a developer account, it's $100 a year. But public betas, meaning anyone who wants to try the betas, that will be available in July. So if you have any questions on iPad OS 16 Stage Manager or if there's any other changes for podcasting, drop them in the comments below. Also, this is my first video in a new studio here at my new house. So if you have any questions about the studio, let me know. I'm gonna be doing a studio tour very soon. Got some acoustic sound panels that'll be going on that wall to add a little more visual interest. I got a hue sign lamp over there to add some color to the background. So shoot questions in the comments if you have about the studio. But thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that studio tour or my smart home stuff. I'll be going through a bunch of smart home stuff. I got some Eve motion blinds right off to the side and a bunch of other things that I want to talk about here in the new house and in the studio. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.